How's it going, YouTube? It's RJ here, and uh, I haven't done a Funko video in a decent amount of time. And that's only because I don't really know what to do next uh, creatively. See, I would, I would like to have my stuff stand out, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I'm providing anything, anything substantial towards this uh, community. Uh, the only thing that I do provide is giveaways, and people do enjoy those, and I sometimes enjoy making them. Not every time, but, you know, that happens. But, I don't know, I just think I'm going to probably stick to maybe monthly roundups. Uh, something similar to this, except this is going to be covering basically everything from this year, maybe even last year as well. Just because I don't post uh, Funko videos. That's just how it is. Uh, there's stuff planned for July, though. I will let you guys know that there is stuff planned for the summer. And you guys will just have to bear with me until then. So, we're going to be re showing off, like, a lot of Funko Pops and a lot of Funko products. And, um, it's something that Franklin gave me, so. Let's just get into Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, there was a lot that I did want. There's a couple items that, one's still... <laughs> finding its way to me uh we'll talk about that when it does end up appearing <laughs> is that there's a there's a good story with that one and i'm getting the three gamestop exclusives the uh funko pops as soon as uh the stores open up basically that's just how it is but um flock charmander walmart exclusive you know me i have to get my pokemon pops so also had to get the amazon shared bulbasaur Pretty nice. Uh, I think if I wasn't a completionist, I'd stick with one thing. 10 inches uh, flocked or the just commons if I wasn't a completionist. But I am, so I don't get to make those decisions for myself anymore. Because my mind already makes those decisions for me. Uh, then we have our Dragon Ball. Uh, perfect cell, glow in the dark. Really cool. It's a nice glow on it. Pretty happy. The sculpt is better. Love when they update the sculpts. Uh, they should do that more often, in my opinion. And you get uh, Vegeta eating noodles. Goes with a Goku eating no noodles where... I don't know where I set him at. So, uh, yeah, I do have that one. I just literally do not know where he's at right now. So, you just gotta, like I said, bear with me. Uh, he probably won't be shown off in the video. Unless I do like a Dragon Ball uh, Funko Pop sh uh, showcase. And then the last run for Dragon Ball from Emerald City was Green Chrome Piccolo. Really like it. Said no one ever. Nobody needed this pop. I don't need this pop. But it is part of the Dragon Ball wave. And it came from FYE. And I was able to get it for sale. So whatever. I don't care. Then you have Triclops from Masters of the Universe. I'm not a big Masters of the Universe collector. You guys know that. But I think this one's cool. Plus the uh, con sticker is on these ones. Which means don't buy any con sticker Funko Pops, guys. You got a share. They gave you a shared pop. That's it. Shared pop, they just did a sticker swap. Kills the value for everything except for the con exclusive ones. Like... Well, I mean, it never really happened, but the Indiana Jones, that's about it. It's the only one that should keep its value, and this sticker should make a difference. Because other than that, someone just took the uh, Triclops sticker swap. And I was thinking about doing that, too, uh, just to have one for my own collection uh, for the last pop from Emerald City I'll show you guys. Uh, Nymphadora Tonks. The one from Harry Potter I do collect, uh, I usually collect characters from Harry Potter if I like them in the books. Nymphadora was amazing in the books. I liked her. They don't really, with movies, you don't get as much detail about characters. The same thing with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Rita Skeeter. You didn't get much about her. It's much different in the books. It's You get more detail about her in the books. Same with Nymphadora. Really like the character, so I picked her up. Didn't care for Flor del Cor, but I'll find her at Barnes & Noble for like $5 eventually. Now, this was the pop of the con for me. 
Zatanna. This is a pop that I've been shouting and screaming to get for forever. And I'm happy that she's a pop and I own one. I should be getting another one soon-ish. So I'm happy about that. But Zatanna is fucking dope. So happy we have another magic character from DC. And like I said, she was my number one most wanted Funko Pop since basically 2016, 2017. Uh, then we got the soda vinyl figures. Uh, limited to 4,000. I got Scott Pilgrim. And then I got two Ramona flowers. One, two. I ended up with the con sticker for the Ramona flowers. So those ones, they actually do have con stickers. And the con stickers are smaller. So if you get a con sticker for the soda, that means you got an actual con sticker item. Uh, I did not get the chases. I'll tell you that. I can't even get these things open at the moment because I don't know. I haven't even actually like physically opened up the plastic bag they're in. I just know, hey, I didn't get the chase, but that doesn't bother me too much. I'm still getting the WonderCon, Nyx, Chow, and Ramona. And I would like to find the Ramona uh, chase variant, buy it online somehow. But uh, until then, I'm happy with what I got. Uh, let's see if I can just pop this one open, open up the plastic bag that she's in. Just to show her off a little bit. And then the other one I'm going to just keep sealed because why not? It's in the con bag. It's in the con can. So, you know, it's actually pretty cool. And I would have opened it if I had gotten the uh, chase variant. I like it. I think these uh, soda figures fit this line a lot better than I think, like, the DC line, to be completely honest. I don't care too much for the soda figure for Robin that I have. It's cool, but I think it works really well with the Scott Pilgrim line. So that's everything I got for Emerald City Comic Con. I could have done a whole video on just that myself itself, but I don't really feel like doing all the uh, extra videos. I don't feel like mass posting. I'd rather just post one long video, get it done and over with. Uh, we can talk about these. I got the Avengers Assemble line. I got two of them so far. The uh, only two that you can get. I think they placed together. I don't know. It's weird. I figured they'd have, like, a little bit of a numbering system. I think it goes like that. But the line doesn't match up entirely. And that's what scares me. I'm like, I would rather it be complete base set like this. And let's say if this is Iron Man supposed to be next to Hawk, which I think it is because it lines up kind of correctly, but like I said, not perfectly. This smoke effect should probably lead on to the other ones, just so that way you can place them better. I think it would make it a little bit more cohesive. But Avengers Assemble from the first Avengers movie, pretty cool. I like the concept. Don't really like the release window. I would rather just buy them all out at once. But you can't, so I don't. Um, I mean, what? It might save you money, you might be able to save up to get it. But they release them the same month as the Collector Core box. So that's my issue, because I'm like, I'm spending still $50 at the end of every other month. And I'd rather, you know, just get the entire Avengers Assemble set. So that way they don't have the characters blacked out on the box. I think it looks stupid. But that's just my opinion. Um, for My Hero Academia, I got the All for One. Now, I don't know if I showed off Shinzo, but I do have him as well. But I don't, since I don't remember, I'm just not going to show him off. You've seen him in uh, my uh, showcase for my bookshelf when I did that. I got the All for One, the Fugitive Toys exclusive. I don't really care for it. I like it. I'm going to keep it, of course. I don't care for the hand right there. I don't like how it's not seamless. You can see exactly where the hand gets glued on. And it looks a little ridiculous. They could have done a little bit more detailing in the face, except that doesn't bother me as much as other. it bothers other people I know. But 
I do wish they did the hand a bit different, fix the sculpt on it so that way the glue basically just wasn't, you know, out there like that. Uh, for Full Metal Alchemist, I ended up with both King Bradley's. I don't know if I showed this off before. The uh, I got the Chase variant. Um, actually, when I went in store the first time, I only picked up one Chase variant, and uh, that was it. I only picked up the Chase, didn't pick up the Common. Uh, then I ordered one online. I got the Common, but I was sending a Chase to my friend. I'm like, you know what? Let me try one more time for a Chase variant. And I end up getting basically two chases, one common, one chase to me, one chase to my best friend. Uh, cool. I like it. Happy with it. Pretty damn cool. He's going right next to my Alphonse with kittens. I don't really know what to say. Like I said, this is why I don't really care to do these type of videos. Because what am I going to say that hasn't been said before? Uh, Little Sweet came in. I think the shipping for it was ridiculous. It was really stupid. They didn't add enough protection to it. They sent it into a flimsy sorter box. Mine is lucky to have not been damaged. Got it for free. As in, like, I didn't even pay for the Dr. Peppers because Dr. Pepper's promotion really fucking was terrible. I could do a whole video on that one itself. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. Dr. Pepper has taken a lot of my money before, but I don't buy the small cans that they want you to buy the uh regular 24 ounce bottles i buy uh the bigger set for cheaper just because it's not cold i can put it in the refrigerator at work that's what i do uh next up we have walmart exclusive black widow uh box came in a bit damaged i don't care i, I really just don't care uh that's another thing i don't necessarily mind box damage as much uh, I still don't want it completely crushed in, but this right here, I probably would have been like, oh, I'm returning this. I don't want it because it's dinged up at the front, but right now I'm just like, whatever, it's here. The pop is fine. I'm happy with it. Can't wait for the Black Widow movie to come out, but uh, with everything being delayed, we'll see exactly how everything plays out because everything's up in the air. Uh, let's move on to... I guess my GameStop order just from nearly three days ago, four days ago, I guess. Uh, they had the $10 t-shirt and the three for $10 pop. So I got the Battle Hound Glow in the Dark E3 exclusive, the Maya uh, Borderlands 3 GameStop exclusive, and then, um, whoops. Oh, uh, Female Psycho, the uh, in Funko Club. GameStop exclusive, still GameStop. And then I got the Cyclops Glow in the Dark t-shirt because $10, why not? Yeah, I got a t-shirt and a Funko Pop that glows in the dark. I'm really happy with all of them. I'm actually really happy I got the common version for Maya because I already have the Chase variant. I don't need two of the same pop, uh, especially for that video game. I don't need it. I just wanted it to uh, round out the collection. I have, I think, all of the Maya Funko Pops and I just need to get I need to get a couple more from Borderlands, but it's nothing I'm really, you know, stressing. Uh, I do want to get Mad Max. Um, uh, I want to get Moxie. Uh, next, what do we want to showcase? Uh, I guess we can showcase what Franklin sent to me. Uh, Harley Quinn Incognito. She will be going back here now, being that I'm finally showing her off on camera. Thank you, Franklin, for this. This is a specialty series exclusive. It's the only uh, Harley Quinn Funko Pop from Birds of Prey that I was missing. It's the only Funko Pop from that set I was missing. Uh, Franklin let me know in, well in advance that, hey, he had a pre-order. Uh, just, he'll hit me up as soon as it gets in. He'll send it to me. I'm like, okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm grateful because my set is finally... Uh, finished except for the uh cards but i'm not worried about those next up we have a uh little sticker decal i don't know where i can put all my stickers that is the thing i have a collection of a couple of them because i don't get very many but the ones that i do have they're just being held in a little shelf right now just until i'm like okay where will i put these at because i think they're cool 
so I'll get it down I'll get something down the road for it uh a Naruto pin from a Zan Zanini Zanini box Panini uh he also sent me a gizmo one however I let my father hold on to that one just because he likes he loves gizmo he loves uh the gremlins movies and I like them too but my dad absolutely loves them so kept the Naruto pin though that's gonna be mine currently watching the series right now uh and then he also sent me a couple of mystery minis we got Lilu from uh fifth element love that i would like to actually have the pop version of it the pop variant but uh that's a vaulted pop i won't be able to get my hands on it for a while and then we got a voltron mystery mini so all in all we got some cool stuff from franklin and like i said i'm appreciative link to his channel is down in the description but if you're watching my stuff for Funko content, you should probably already be subscribed to him. If you're not, you're missing out. But that's just my opinion. We'll take a mini break from Funko Pops to talk about a different Funko product. Uh, the Eevee and Friends. I have the Vaporeon and the Eevee. I will be getting the entire set. Don't really want to go into too much detail about them now because I do plan on doing a video with all of them. Uh, especially can't wait for the Sylveon one. As you guys know, it's my channel's mascot. So, can't wait for these. God, my allergies are messing up. Guys, I'm not sick. My allergies are just horrible. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, you got, you got the corona. No, uh, my allergies are just really bad, guys. Next up, uh, Hot Topic Joker for Valentine's Day. Like I said, this is just showing off a lot of things that I had previously, but I just forgot to really show off. And here we're actually getting into it. Joker, how, uh, Valentine's is actually my first Joker in this variant for Bombshell. I actually still need to get the Common and the Chase variant, and that will finish out my Bombshell set. But I keep procrastinating, and I just don't pick it up. Don't know why I don't. Uh, next up, we have Vegeta with Gallic Gun from Chalice Collectibles. And then uh, the other one is uh, Vegeta Powering Up from Chalice Collectibles. No chase variants. And I might order one more for Gallic Gun. If I get the chase, cool. If I don't get the chase, I'm probably going to try to paint it purple. Like the entire pop. Make it look like how it's supposed to. Because I honestly fucking do not really like it. Uh, it's yellow. It shouldn't be yellow at all. Make it purple. That's how the Gala Gun is. But that's just me complaining. And then we got the Dragon Ball Super powering up Glow in the Dark. I like the Glow more than the Metallic variant, so I'm not complaining about that. Probably won't hunt down the chase for a while, at least. Uh, especially with these type of companies, Chalice Collectibles, Galactic Toys. If I don't get the chase, I'm not going to stress it. I'll get it down the road eventually to complete the set. But since my Dragon Ball set isn't complete at the moment, it shouldn't bother me, and it doesn't. Next up, we have Summer Stitch. Can't wait for Summer, uh, except for the fact that Summer is going to be canceled. Everything for this year, canceled. Uh, like Lilo and Stitch, I could go into talking about Lilo and Stitch altogether, because it was my childhood. Love this movie. Um, I don't really try to collect the Funko Pops, only because I don't want to get into that let me collect some Disney lines because I love Disney and it will just be a fucking rabbit hole for me to fall down. Uh, excuse me for cussing. I don't really mean to. Uh, I'm serious. I'm trying my best not to cuss. Don't know how many times I've already done it. Uh, also from Hot Topic, we got the SpongeBob Square Pants Bubble Dome video. Uh, Bubble Dome one. I like this. This is probably one of the best episodes from the series. Band Geeks. Please, uh, if you haven't watched this episode, this is one of the episodes you do want to watch. Uh, this is going to probably be my only Spongebob Funko Pop. And I'm okay with that. Next up, we have Walmart exclusive King Cold from Dragon Ball Z. Should have been a 6 inch. I would have liked a 6 inch, but if it's not, oh well, can't do anything, can't complain about it. Because it's just not, that's how it is. 
nothing I really want to say about King Cole. There's just a pop. And that's how I feel about these. And this is why I don't really even like doing these type of videos where they're not out of the box and I'm not doing a specific review on them. Because if I don't do that, then um, I don't really care for really revealing it. It's If I'm showcasing a pop, I would like to do it out of box. It would just take forever with how many pops I'm showing off this video. But that way I can show you the details on it. Uh, next up, Eevee Pokemon. You guys know I'm a Pokemon fan. Eevee was a pop that you guys know I'm getting. I'm getting the uh, exclusive one. Oh god, my uh, online class is starting soon. Uh, I'm getting the flock version. Can't wait for that one, but I'll get it uh, when I get it. It's WonderCon exclusive. We'll see when they actually release. Uh, we're actually nearing the end of this. So I got the Venomized Green Goblin. Haven't really been collecting this Venomized set. Uh, I didn't even collect the first wave of them altogether. I'm still missing like Loki. I'm still missing a decent amount. It's a little too much for me right now, just how many they're releasing and me being a completionist, I want to get them all, but then I don't want to buy 14 different boxing t-shirt and pop combos just to complete the set. But that's just me. I do like this uh, Green Goblin though. Green Goblin, Spider-Man villains are my favorite out of the uh, Marvel Universe, so I'm happy to actually have that one. Next up, we have the Amazon Exclusive 11. Stranger Things, I'm still missing, <laughs> don't know why, but I'm still missing, um, what's her face, uh, Robin and Alexi, I don't have them in my collection right now, don't know why, I'll get them down the road, it's just, everything's been shut down, and I haven't really even seen them in person, so, if I haven't seen them in person, I'd rather pick their boxes up and make sure they're good in store, uh, the last of it, we'll just, uh, do... It's Naruto and then uh, some DC. So we got the Baruto Naruto uh, Hakage. Triple A anime. I was hoping for the chase variant so that way it could go along with my six path uh, glow in the dark Naruto. Don't have it. Oh well. I'm not going to order another one. I don't need to. Uh, but it's cool. I like it. I like the glow on the six path as well. It's yellow, it glows pretty damn good. Next up, we have Lady Tsunade. Uh, <laughs> I will talk about this in a different video, but I had to pick her up. Uh, she trains Sakura. Sakura is the bitch. She's the bitch. We, we, don't, we, we all stand. I uh, hate using that word, but we stand Sakura. Uh, then we got Misuki. Uh, Sage mode. Glow in the dark. Love the glow pops. Honestly, they're some of my favorite pops right now. Uh, then we got Kid Flash, and of course I had to get the Chase variant. I was there that early in store to get it. But, yeah, I'm really happy with the glow on this one as well. I lit that up as soon as I got home as well. But yeah, that's it for this video. Not too much I needed to say, wanted to say. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button because it does help out. And I will, like I said, I'll be doing a year like a month review like a month showcase of what i've gotten like this stuff has been since at least march all the way back i haven't gotten anything in april yet everything i get in april will be showcased um uh, may 1st may 2nd ish and so on and so forth so i think that's probably going to be the way you can get some punko content out of me but until then you two that's it um i'll see you around bye